Hey guys, it's Merrick, and I've got another gameplay commentary for you here today. In this one, we're yet again on Planetside 2. This time, we are on VS using the Dark Star. The Pulsar 1C is one of my favorite ARs in the game, and the Dark Star is just a better version of that. It's got a lower overall magazine size, but the Cure Launcher is super nice, and the heat ammo means that if you can space out your shots, you're not going to gas out, and you can technically go on slightly longer streaks. I'm running the short barrel because that way I have a better hip fire because the bloom will not spread as fast. Cure Launcher is almost mandatory because there's basically no reason to not run it. It's a free heal and it's a cleanse. There's nothing not to love about it. And if you need to even ask what I have in the ammo slot, you have not watched my other videos. It's high velocity. Even though I'm not running an organized group, I'm still running Combat Surgeon because level 5 Combat Surgeon gives you one of the most insane buffs that you can have for taking fights. Anytime you get a res, it gives you a short window of 25% reduced small arms damage taken. That basically means if you are about to get into a fight, you can huck a resonate into a group of people to whom it may concern, they get a res, they feel better about themselves, you get on demand basically a shield, and then you can engage into a fight. And anybody that accepts that res also gives you energy so you can have your Q running, which means you're also tankier in fights. It's all around amazing. You have Assimilate because headshots. I'm also running the C4 because while you could use medkits, basically what you should be doing, and to be honest what I don't do here myself, is you can just use the Cure Launcher as a point-click instant heal. It takes a second to flip it over, but it's pretty nice and can be reloaded off of an Engineer ammo pack. It's also probably better practice to run the underboss as opposed to the commissioner because of a faster draw and refire time, meaning you can actually get it up and both out DPS somebody faster if you're within the first range bracket. But as everybody knows, I fucking hate infiltrators and the farther away that I can one tap them, the better. With that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. This is going to be a two part video, not because I'm trying to lengthen these out, but because even when I tried to cut this super short, I wound up reaching like 12 minutes just off of this first half. So it was kind of out of my hands. So, we're starting this session off at Eli Forest Pass, where even though it's not got an abundance of players, it seems to be one of the only places to go. So, I get there, run to point, manage to see somebody falling down off of the roof, and as I reload, I begin to push up. I'm not a heavy, so I'm trying to play in some more of the mid-range, but I don't see anybody, so I run all the way down to the end of the bridge, pick up a res, turn back to the point, just because I don't know what the hell's going on, and I think there might be people, and I catch another light assault and a half as they jump down on the point. From here, though, I don't see anybody for a little bit, so I push up and into one of these forward buildings, where I see a blue dot on the side, so I expect to either run into an infiltrator or something else. But as I'm getting inside, a blue push materializes outside, so I use the window for a superior position to try to weed them out. I just wish that I could lead. I check behind me, because that's just good practice. Unfortunately, I'm tunnel visioning on this target, and I don't see the blue dot that was very obviously in my building. The call was coming from inside the house. I just didn't pick up. So, I die, and I have to head somewhere else, which sends me off to Jaeger's Fist. There's a lot of pressure on this front, so I'm trying to be careful as I push up, and right as I go to push to a corner for some more superior cover, I wind up getting hit by some air to ground. As I'm running back out from spawn, I catch somebody on the side, but there's a massive purple push running, so I try to keep up with them, but I didn't actually refresh myself after changing my loadout, so even though I have the Nade Bandolier equipped, I don't actually have the Nade Bandolier. So, I pick up a res because I can't throw a resonate in trying to get the shield, but somebody does get res themselves. I have to fall back and pick that guy up. I deny another res as I'm jumping across to get to a better angle, but before I can really get a whole lot out of the situation, it seems like the fight is pretty much over. I try to help with clearing up spawns, but they seem to run out, so I go to help res somebody, and right as I do, another push begins. I barely make it out of living on that fight. And as I run back into the room, another resonate goes off below me. I don't have any time to get my gun out, but I do know that this infiltrator was a dead body here before. The body's missing. I'm pretty sure he got up, so I chase him down in the stairs. I'm trying to get to a decent position, but people just keep getting rezzed. I make sure the infiltrator didn't res, put this guy back down, and I back up to finally, air quotes, reload my gun, forgetting that I have a heat gun that actually would just allow me to reload myself. This would have been a perfect situation after taking that shot to drop a cure launcher at my feet, but I kind of panicked didn't play it correctly, backed up before realizing I wouldn't make it up the stairs, so I just got myself killed when I could have potentially won that fight. From there though, we got pushed out of the point, so I went back to Eli Forest Pass. I was able to pick up one guy off the point, did a bunch of running around, and right as I went to redeploy, I saw somebody touching the point, turned around to fight him, got some shots on target before getting flanked. Running back out of spawn, I chased a blue dot all the way into this building, just in time to have another blue dot drop down on top of me. I thought he was going to run around the block and into the building, but as the drop pod vanishes, he's just staring at me, fucking waiting for me. But by the time I get back up, 
I'm able to just push on to point because we have a lot more purple presence. Seems like the fights are a bit swingy, so I don't actually see anybody until I get all the way across the bridge. I get tickled from the other bridge. I do manage to take that guy out. Then I push back up into this building to get a height advantage, only to find out that there's nobody to get a height advantage over. So I redeploy to another fight, wind up at Echo Valley substation, ride my way all the way into the building before finally I see a little bit of pressure, but I back off to the back door because I don't see anybody else, just in time for some more people to push in. Although, because I wasn't in position, they wind up getting all the way up the staircase before I can really do a whole lot about it, and I'm just trying to back up and do as much damage as I can. I missed my first C4, I back up to do a second C4, and another medic pushed along the side and just took me out. So now I'm forced to spawn on the outside, and we're going to be trying to fight through Banana. I take this a little bit less respect than I should. I do throw a Resonate in to try to get the res shield that I was talking about earlier, but I didn't expect them to come pushing out, so I'm not in a closed position to the wall. I do still manage to take two of them out, but as I gas my gun because I was panicking, I get taken out from the side, respawn on the Sunder, and have to push back in, where I am able to take out somebody coming out of the teleporter building on a side angle, and then as I push in to get in melee with this heavy, I actually get robbed by the dude in the corner behind me while I get traded out by the guy on the staircase. I push back in just as two heavies are dropping off the roof and get completely murderized, but there's no other fight to go to, so I have to keep trying to make this work. I try to play the shield as a defensive angle, forgetting that I have an assault rifle, which means only 24 bullets in the case of the Dark Star, so I'm still just trying to take these longer range shots and just hoping that somehow, someday, somebody returns my aim from the lost and found. I do manage to push in and catch somebody as he trades out a heavy. I pick that heavy back up, and there's actually a shield generator right here, which makes this a very good opportunity and a good place to fight from because shield generators are really, really good. But I'm not really feeling comfortable in my aim right now, so I try to play it a little back, but there's a whole bunch of blue guys pushing up to the shield right as we lose our Sunderer. I back off to try to get a little bit of space, but everybody died on the shield. We have no Sunderer to use as cover, so by the time I turn around, I still have no shield, and I just get murdered. I'm fucking banished straight back to Eli Forest Pass, where as I'm checking through a building, I get flanked by somebody coming in from the roof. So I manage to shuffle down the stairs. I head up the other staircase, just trying to get a flank, but I see them retreating up that other staircase as they've murdered somebody. So I just take them out, pick that guy up and continue along my way. I see a blue dot under me that I thought was going to be on this bridge. So I kind of peeked expecting him, but I know there's another one a little farther up again from the blue dots on the map. From here, though, because I didn't get to push up and take those guys out, I'm a medic. It's probably better for me to play back because I can just res these guys and trade them out. I decide to look down on the point and trade those guys out. I do get a pickup or two before somebody drops out of a drop pod and just murderizes me instantly. I am picked up by another random medic, though, so I continue to support this push with a resonate as I go, and then I peek early on the resonate so the guy's not expecting it, and then as the res explodes, which means the guy's going to be standing up, most likely, I decide to continue pushing around the corner and I catch somebody else. I'm on a little bit of a streak, so when I see my teammate around the corner, I just instinctively shoot him, just kind of in reaction. But he doesn't die, thankfully, and as I push out, I'm able to get a few more cleanups before getting the position on their push. And tell from where they're coming in here that they must have a Sunder outside. Not being a heavy, I'm finally able to curb my monkey instincts, and instead of just shift Wing at them, I kind of hold my position on the rock, trying to pick off a few different targets. However, I see too many targets at once, and I don't actually pick up any of them, so I wind up gassing my gun, and I only manage manage to pick up one of those shots. But as soon as the push begins to push out towards Sunder, I follow them up and try to support by clearing out heavies as these guys are pulling rockets. Unfortunately though, as soon as they all respawn and the nades start coming in, I know I have to back up because we're going to be getting a counter swing pretty soon. Unfortunately, a bunch of A to G showed up and absolutely murdered that Sunder, so I was ready to redeploy. But as I was, somebody touched the point, so I decided to run back here. I'm able to pick up one guy, both an ally and an enemy technically, and then we wind up heading off to another fight. This fight happens to be at a containment site, which are unironically probably my favorite points on all of Esamir. I run up to the point, see that it's contested with a friendly sentry turret firing. I go to check the, the alleyway, I guess, because I wasn't sure if there was anybody in there. I do catch one guy coming around the side, and then I back up hoping to catch another one or two, but I get triple peeked and have to run it back. However, by the time I run it back, they've pushed up and are trying to do a hallway hold, so I get a tight angle on the guy on the left, which isolates him into a 1v1, and then when I peek out, there's only one guy peeking out of the midway, so I get a 1v1 on him too. From there, I push up, catch the light assault out of position, and the medic with a medgun out, so that's an easy cleanup, and then by the time I get to push up to this room here, it seems like there's a few other purples with me. So I toss a nade to one of them, and I see that we are getting flanked. I go to fight this guy. I really thought I hit enough headshots, but the game disagreed with me, and he trades me out. 
I run back from spawn, and by the time I get back, we have the point. But I get here just in time before a red push hits. I'm firing through the carriage, trying to get any damage and pickups that I can, but it soon has become obvious that we are getting completely overrun, so I begin to back up. However, I do it way too late, gas my gun out, being used to having a larger magazine, and I get absolutely murdered where I could have potentially won that fight. However, we lose control of the containment site there, and I'm forced yet again back to Eli Forest Pass. Somebody had a pocket flash out there to allow me to climb up onto the balcony, and as I go to res this guy, I get flanked by a random NC, and after horrendous aim, I am able to finally pull out a W in this fight, but I put myself in a pretty shitty position, and I'm out in the open against people on the high ground. I try to make it a little better by getting some cover against these rocks, but there's not a whole lot I can do, and instead of pushing into the bridge, where there's going to be a lot of people looking at me, I decide to otherwise wrap around into this Z-shape. Partially because I don't think I can wrench open the point all by myself as a medic, and partially because there's more purple bodies here that I can use to both shield me metaphorically and to res to give myself that air quote shield from the combat surgeon. I'm going to have to wrap this first part up here as we end with 44 kills in 24 minutes and round about a 3 KD. But this is going to be a two-parter for sure, so make sure to tune in for the next part as most of this now is just going to be teaser for the next video coming up. Before I completely close out this video, I had a whole lot of trouble getting this video started. My trader brain was doing everything it could to prevent me from working on this video. And then suddenly, once I started commentating, I just actually did this in almost one or two takes with just a few skips rather than individually piecing everything out. How do you like this compared to the more meticulously crafted ones? What do you think? How bad was this? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, though, let me know what you do like. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you think so I can improve my videos moving forwards. Thank you guys for your continued support, and I'll see you next time.